Karibu tena double update popote pale ulipo mtazamaji wangu mimi na tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa ni ite Mr Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa na kwanza mtakuwa nimefanya makosa kubwa kabisa kama sitawaambia asante hawa viongozi wawili na mzungumzia upio andai kwenye bunge la kitaifa lakini pia vile vile Edwin Sifuna upande wa Senate na kwa kweli nakubaliana na waswahili wenzangu ambao walisema hebu wape maua yao kama wanafanya vizuri jamani kipindi hiki ambacho wanafanya vizuri wape maua yao yani msisubiri bwana vitu visharibika watu hawapo tena ndo mnaanza kusema alikuwa mzuri alikuwa mzuri mm -mm, hautasaidia kama unaona kitu kinaenda vizuri sema mwambie tu bwana unafanya vizuri eh sawa jamani Kuanzia leo na nadhani nitabadilisha fikra yangu kuhusu uh, nyumba hizi mbili Senate pamoja na bunge. Kwa wale ambao wanafuatilia double update juzi kati hapa tumepiga story kawa nawaambia kwamba mimi siku hizi sitambui tena bunge. Na ikiwezekana basi wabunge wa azimio la umoja ndo kabisa waipa ODM, Jubilee na vyama vingine kama itawezekana wakae nyumbani tu wafanye kazi zao. E, wasipoteze muda kwenda wapi kwenda bunge kwa sababu kitu ambacho kinaonekana sasa hivi ni kwamba chochote ambacho kimepelekwa huko kuzungumziwa ionekane kama itapita au haitapita huwa inapita tu kwa hiyo ukiniambia kwamba kuna watu wataenda kuzuia kitu ambacho labda Ruto anataka itakuwa ni noma sana again mnajua kabisa kama ni upande wa azimio labda kama kuna kitu ambacho wanataka eti ipelekwe bunge ipitishwe itakuwa ni noma zaidi unless wao wanakubaliana nao so everything uh, uh, it's all about Kenya kwanza watasemaje unaelewa na ndio maana kuna kipindi hiko lilisema there is no need ya hii parliament wacha viongozi wa UDA wa bunge i mean waende huko waamue wanavotaka kama ni kupitisha, kupitisha wapitishe kama ni kukwamisha wakwamisha na uh, kitu kama hiko but sasa hivi mimi nimebadilisha kabisa uh, fikra yangu na naweza nikasema hivi uwepo wa viongozi wa azimio wa bunge na labda senate uh, senator school nitaanza na uh, kwenye bunge akina upio mbadi uh, na, na na wengine ambao pia wana support kutoka upande ule mwingine but ni wachache na mzungumzia mtu kama wa mchomba wacha wawe pale kwa sababu ni muhimu by the way angalia kitu kinachopi ki, uh, kinapopitishwa afu sisi wenyewe tushajua ni kibaya wao huwa wanasaidia sana wananchi kujua okay hii hapa inapitishwa so inabidi mtarajie kitu fulani fulani kwa mfano kama leo opio andai sema ameongea mpaka kimani ichungwa ka akamwangalie aka and he was like huu jamaa ametunyorosha kwenye hii nyumba hii nyumba huu jamaa leo ametunyorosha alikuwa anazungumzia swala la housing ametutobolea i think watu wanatakao kuiona hiyo video clip muone ninachokizungumza opio andai amezungumza zaidi ya wabunge ya msini kutoka Kenya kwanza hakuna hata mmoja amejibu swali ambalo alikuwa anauliza ushai ushai kuambiwa ukweli ushai kuambiwa ukweli wewe mwenyewe ukasema mm. <laughs> mdogo wangu au mkubwa wangu yani bwana si kwa nakubaliana na wewe lakini kwenye pointi zako mimi hata sijui nitasemaje yani unaambiwa ukweli wa ukweli ambao ina ina ina, ina ukweli na ina ukweli na yani hakuna kitu kingine unaweza kufanya Yeah, I, I think watu waione waione hiyo uh, video clip kwanza ndio tuendelee mtu asije akasema kwamba Double J wewe unasema nini unazungumzia nini kitu ambacho unakizungumzia sisi hatukioni Opio wanyooshe bwana waelewe kinachoendelea na swala hili hapa la housing that it is now clear in this bill that whoever is going to contribute to this fund this housing levy is not guaranteed a house that is now clear that however much you contribute towards the housing levy, whether you are a salaried employee, you are a Jwakali artisan, you are a Kukuteni pusher, you are a Boda Boda rider, you are a Mamamboga, there is no guarantee that you will get a house. That your contributions are not a guarantee that you will get a house. That's now clear. And if you want to confirm that, you go to the paragraph, paragraph 4. 
on eligibility criteria and application procedure for affordable housing unit. A person qualifies to be allocated an affordable house unit if that person is a Kenyan citizen who is at least 18 years of age and holds a Kenyan identity card. And it goes on. But what is more curious is at paragraph 31, 2, A, an application made under subsection 1 shall be accompanied by proof of requisite deposit approved by the relevant agency of at least 10% of the value of the affordable housing unit being applied for. Now, tell me now. Tell me now. Who in Kenya is going to afford the 10% of the value of the affordable housing unit? Who? Who? What we are simply doing is to create opportunities for the people who are already properties, like you and me, people who are already wealthy, to be able to use proxies to deposit the 10% of the value of those units and acquire as many units as possible. How have we addressed the issue of access to housing under Article 43 1B? Tell me. I need to be educated. Tell me. How? How, Honorable Shunga, my good friend? How? I need to be educated. So, we are simply trying to respond to the queries, the very fundamental queries that were, that were, addressed, that were raised by the High Court. My submission is that this bill does not cure, does not cure the deficiencies that were apparent in the finance bill 2023. It does not cure. Mr. Speaker, you must also understand that in this country, even those people who may want decent houses to be able to move from their current dwellings, the shanties as we call them, may not be able to as a result of other competing needs for the little money that they have. So what then should have happened? And this is something we have said over and over. We have said as a Zimio over and over that we are not opposed to the issue of affordable housing. As a matter of fact, the issue of affordable housing was in our manifesto. The, the point of departure is the implementation. As a Zimio, we would have wanted to implement this policy by simply having parliament appropriate money from Kenyan taxpayers' money. Simply collect taxes in a normal manner and appropriate part of that money to go and construct the houses. No, you're not doing it. You are simply creating new taxes. You are simply creating new taxes you are marked for the housing units. What you are saying, what you are doing is simply overburdening Kenyans to create houses for the benefit of a few, of a few, of a few select, of a select few who are really rich and who have got houses in the first place. Mr. Speaker, you, you go to the implementation. They are saying they will deduct 1.5% of the gross salaries of the employees. Again, that is double taxation. Because already those employees are paying pay as you earn. Why can't you then even go to the net, 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 the net, the net, the net earnings? But more curiously, the employers are being compelled to match, match that 1.5 percent. But it goes when it goes it, when it comes to those who are not salaried, those who are in the informal sector, who are going to be or go again charge this levy through a means I don't know because I haven't read the report. The report came out too late. I'm told the amendments are proposing how you will raise this money from those who are not earning salaries. It is not clear who will march for them. It's not clear. For the employees like us and you, at least our employer, the PSC, the speaker is here, uh, will, will march. <laughs> yes. 
But for the Mamboga, who will match for the Mamboga, Mr. Speaker? Who will match the contribution for the Boda Boda rider? Who? So we are having two different standards, which was raised by the high. Hapo hata anayekuaga na, na, na mdomo kwenye bunge uh, kimani chungwa hawezi akajibu. Muulize haya sasa huyu mtu wa chini ambaye mnamzungumzia hapa. Sasa ni nini? Hebu wadhibitishie kwamba watapata hizi nyumba ambazo mnawajengea. You know, kuna vitu vingine alikuwa anavizungumza upio andai. I'm sure hata sehemu ambapo alikuwa William Samoei Ruto ilibidi azime kwanza TV kwa sababu ai Uu jamaa mbona kama anamwaga sana nani chini jamani? Mbona kama anamwaga maji chini? Eh? Na kitu kikubwa <laughs> kitu kikubwa ni kwamba watu washajua. Watu washajua kwamba okay, hiki ambacho wanakifanya hawa watu uh, kitakuja ku tuathiri kwa kiasi hiki na tutarajie kitu fulani fulani. Ndio maana nilikwambia kuna umuhimu wa parliament na senate. Wacha wacha watu waone kinachoendelea. I think pia hii hapa itasaidia wananchi kujua ni kiongozi mgani ambaye anatutetea ni nani hatutetei. Unane, mtu asikwambie eti sasa ni kwanza wakipitisha eti Ruto atakwambia and wana trick flani very funny eti wabunge wa Kenya kwanza yani ni kama sasa watu wa Ruto wakipitisha there is no pro- problem eti sasa Ruto alichaguliwa na hawa watu na walichaguliwa na na sio na manifesto yao na sio na mipango yao na nini nafuta kama hivyo. Sasa mimi sometimes sana jiuliza okay mlichaguliwa kuja kuumiza watu mlichaguliwa kuja kuumiza watu watakwambia hapana but vitu ambavyo mnavifanya hapa vinaumiza watu that's the truth in fact nilikuwa naona iko wapi hiyo nani hiyo post that the UDA government is advising mama boga and boda boda to register their businesses so they can get tax relief <laughs> wrong the UDA government wants mabamboga to register their businesses so that the business the businesses can be compelled to match their 1.5% monthly housing levy <laughs> it is a many dynasty buyer sasa kwa nini mnataka kuwadanganya kina mabamboga lakini tuongeeni ukweli sasa kwa nini mnataka kudanganya mabamboga na mtu pikipiki au mtu wa boda boda hawa watu wana hustle sana usiku mchana ili wapate hata kidogo ambao umeisha siku bado haitoshi. Kwa hiyo ukiniambia mama mboga kwanza register, yani ana register kimaliza ku register unamkata. You know people are not serious. Yani people are not serious. These people ambao tunawaita kina mama mboga na watu wa chini hawa. Hawa watu wanapitia muda mgumu sana. Unajua watu <laughs> this is a true story na semaga au mnaambi wako kwamba maisha imekuwa magumu and other people wanafikiria ni jokes huo wengi huo wanachukulia kama ni mchezo fulani tu yani kuna watu wanacheza no let me tell you one thing maisha ni magumu <laughs> i'm telling you maisha ni magumu sana na mimi sitaenda mbali mimi sitaenda mbali sana na kujia tu hapa kwa mama mboga wacha nikukwambie ukweli mama mboga Wengi wao wanaishi kwenye nyumba hizi za chini. Nyumba za 1500 ama hata 2000. Na hajaishi hapo hicho kwamba sasa hii ndo ndo dream house yangu, ndo nyumba bora. No, anataka nyumba hatukatai. Lakini nyumba ambayo anataka, anataka nyumba ambayo mwisho siku ata, ata, ata anapambana ili siku ikifika yani nyumba ya ndoto yake ameipata, awe ana uwezo kuilipia. Yaani hata kama umemjengea hiyo nyumba tuachane na kupunguziwa hiyo 1.5 sio kila mwezi. Tuzungumzie hiyo nyumba ambayo nyinyi mnasema kina mama mboga na watu wa chini wanatafuta. Wakishaipata hii nyumba niambie kama atalipia hata miezi miwili mitatu, nne ama tano. Tunge ni ukweli. You know, kama mtu alikuwa analipa nyumba ya 1500, how do you expect him or her kwenda kwa nyumba ya 10000? kama sio miujiza tu yani kuna kitu kimetokea ghafla hiyo gap ni kubwa sana yani ushai mtu anatoka singo anaenda you know most cases mara nyingi inakuwa ni hivyo lakini tukiangalia uhalisia maisha jinsi ilivyo sasa hivi vitu huwa vinabadilika sikatai mtu anatoka hata chini anaenda panda juu sh- ana shoot mara moja tuzungumzie hali ilivyo sasa hivi tuache kuexaggerate vitu tu, tuache kuongelelea miujiza sio na nini Huyu mama mboga ambaye anaishi kwenye nyumba 1500 tungeni ukweli anaweza kaford nyumba 
tongeni kweli na hata before uanza kulipa hiyo 1017 kuna 10% hiyo ni ya kudhirisha kama unaweza ama hauwezi bro it's it's very funny it's very funny this mama mboga sambao mnasema hapa leo oh ni nini nini hawa watu hawatosheki hata na kidogo ambacho wanataka si tu kwamba hawatosheki hiyo kidogo ambao wanapata haiwatoshi kufanya vitu vyao ambavyo wanatakiwa wana, wana kufanya si kama tunilewana hawa watu wana watoto wanataka kwenda shule wengi wao wanaume wao wanaenda mijengo nini hizi kazi ndogo ndogo lakini haitoshi inabidi aishi kwenye hiyo nyumba ya mabati you know when, when we are talking about sola la maisha ni magumu maisha ni magumu hawa watu hawaelewi maisha ni magumu No hao watu they are talking about unga ya 145. There are some people hata 100 ana, 100 moja ana. I'm telling you, mimi nimekaa ghetto nimezaliwa mimi nimezaliwa Kibera. Miaka zangu zaidi ya saba nimeishi kwa hii kwa dunia. Nimeona maisha magumu. Mtu ana hata 100 ndugu yangu. Na na na, na unamwambia una, una unamdanganya wa register. Eti sijui waende sio wa register sio wapi huko afu sasa itumike kama kitrick flani eh? ya kuanyonya tano kila mwezi ah amfanye vizuri unajua wanafanya they are doing this because hawa kina mama mboga na kina watu wa boda boda wamekuwa wakilia tumetupwa na serikali tumetupwa na serikali tunafanyaje hapo hapo kwenye kutupwa na serikali eh? hapo hapo kwenye kutupwa na serikali sasa wanaona ah bwana tuwahusishe yeah, kwenye 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 shughuli yetu ya nini housing kwa sababu watu walikuwa wanauliza hey, housing yenu vipi mama mboga wapi wapi wale kwa nini hatuwaoni and i want to tell you ni noma sana kwa mama mboga eti leo kuamini nyumba hii ambayo Ruto anawaambia eti wa register watakuwa you know it's it's msifanye hivyo hapana msidanganywe and i'm very sure hata wao wenyewe hawezi wakaruhusu wadanganywe wafanye hizo registration alafu mwisho siku anyang'anywe for the nyingi sana kila mwezi kama nyinyi wenyewe mja bado ndo mnahitaji support nyingi mnahitaji vitu vingi ili biashara zenu zikae vizuri sasa kama gharama maisha ni 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 ni, ni, ni balaa kwa upande huu mwingine wa mwananchi wa kawaida na ndo kabisa wananunuaga hawa kina mama mboga kina nani hao watanunua saa ngapi hiyo mboga hata yani upate mpaka ya kumpea William Samoutu narudia point ya wandai ni thibitishie yani nataka unihakikishie kwamba mimi ambaye nalipa leo asilimia moja nukta tano nitapata hii nyumba hakuna hata ichungwa mwenyewe hizi akakuelezea kwa sababu they know what they are doing they know what they are doing lakini ukizungumza atakuwa na mbona kama adui huyu mbona kama atuelewi Hakuna cha mtu kukuelewa. Yaani sasa utae mtu atakuelewaje jamani wakati wewe mwenyewe unafanya vitu vingine ambavyo ni vya kiajabu ajabu tu. Mtu anashindwa kuelewa, eh mama mboga mwenyewe tena mnataka kumkata 1.5%. Etu register. Mama mboga ambaye hayuko sure hata kama leo atapata mboga au kesho. Ah nyinyi watu bana. You're not serious. Alafu sasa cha ajabu ni mtakuwa mnapewa ma penalty. Asi una gani na kudanganya? haya kosa kulipa basi utaniambia nambari yangu nawekaga hapa kwenye screen kosa tu kulipa utaniambia utasema hiyo 1.5 imeenda wapi hiyo kwa nyumba ambayo hautawahi ujui hata utaishi lini kwenye hiyo nyumba i'm telling you ujui hata utaishi lini kwa hiyo nyumba ambayo hawa watu wanataka kukupea So msidanganywe na serikali hii hapa ya Kenya kwanza. Vitu ni vingi by the way vinakuja kwenye bunge na vitakuwa vinapitishwa jamani na waomba sometimes sikilizeni hawa wabunge vizuri. Jueni nani anatudanganya nani anatusaidia nani anatuambia ukweli. Hakikisheni mnawasikiliza akina upio andai, akina mbadi, akina umchomba. Wasikilizeni tu. Mtajua utofauti wa wabunge wanaowakilisha wananchi na wabunge wanaowakilisha William Samoutu. Hawa wanaowakilisha wakiongea utaona wananyamaza kwa sababu hawa ndo ndo ndo, ndo group lao. Unajua Kenya kwanza hata wakiongea kwenye nani kwenye juu ya gari hapo. Mno nyinyi mnakuaga like mnataka kuona mbunge, mtaki kusikiliza anachokisema. Na hata akiongea wengi tu waongeagi. Wengi hata wapigagi kiledea like, "Ah, oh, sisi tumeona ichumwa ameongea hapa, amesema bla bla bla." lakini mwisho siku nyie wenyewe mnatakiwa kujua 
jamani hawa tunajua tunaweka hapa wabunge wa Kenya kwanza waazimio tunaweka hapa watu wasikilize watu wajitayarishe ungetaka kujitayarisha kwa magumu sikilizeni wanachokisema wabunge wazima kwa sababu ndio kitu ambacho mtapitana nayo mtapatana nayo sorry but at the end of the day ndio hivyo watasema ah mtupendi mtupendi bla 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 nini nini sawa wacha subiri tu nitakuwaje i think ni achie maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kikubwa zaidi ni subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpeke la wakati bye bye